hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about standard deviation and variance differences and why mostly we are using standard deviation and statistics to prefer with variance before starting that we just know what is variance variance is nothing but it is a range distance between that each data points are with mean value that is called as a variance so standard deviation is nothing but the variance squared is called as a standard deviation we will see some with some example here first we just know the formula so variance of s equal to x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 if it is a population mean then that it will come as a mu and the value will be n only for the sample for the accuracy purpose we will be using for n minus 1 that is called as a degrees of freedom concept so on this top of this formula i just supplied here this is the sample data we have it is a sequence data that is i am taking for the example one and for this sequence data the mean value is 15 why we are going to square it that is also we have to know that if suppose you are going to find the direct difference between that x and x bar everything will be the total sum will come to zero point so if suppose you are going to divide by zero of any element that will come to zero only so that we just square it and we will be capture this value and then n minus one so total element is six seven minus one will be in six so 28 divided by six this is the value you are getting here okay now we know the variance value how we are going to apply it I just plot a diagram for understanding purpose let me consider this is the x bar value as 15 in this all example i am taking the same mean value of 15 due to understanding of other data points okay so the range will come from 12 13 14 16 17 and 18 these are all the data point is available uh, i just mentioning this is the mean value i just declare the mean value as a center now i am supposed to find out the low variance so low variance is nothing but x bar minus variance value so it will, it will come 15 minus 4.67 so almost 11.33 high variance this x bar plus variance value then 15 plus 4.67 19.67 i'm going to drop plot here okay so this value i just declared 11 is a low variance and high variance is 19 so you can notice this this is like a low variance of 11.67 it will come here and high variance will come here 19.67 so based on the data point all the data points the distance will come under this frames this is we can clearly understand if the data will be in sequence and continuous okay next we just going to discuss about second one example here also the mean value will come to 15 only but the data points are different i have repeated data here 14 will come two times 15 comes uh, 14 come three times 15 comes two times 16 and 17 comes only one time for this data i am getting this value for variance is 1.33 i am going to apply the same formula for the low variance here 15 minus 1.33 high variance 15 plus 1.33 so this is 13.267 sorry and 16.33 i'm going to plot it okay so this is the x bar as 15 here it comes so 14 so it comes three times 15 two times 16 one times up to 17 also one point so all the ranges very close to this one only and the ranges of this value
the low variance the the high variance so most of the all data points come under two value only that last value 17 near to 16 points so it's approximately it come it reach into that our data point so if that data points very close to mean the variance will be coming uh, with low values so from the both example we can get some clarity okay now third example i'm going to take it out with the same mean value as 15 but in this time i'm getting some negative volume which is very long from that mean value okay so this i'm getting variance value is 187 now i'm calculating this low variance 15 minus 187.33 high variance 15 plus 187.33 172.67 I think it is a negative value and this one 202.33 let me just going to plot it there's the 15 and let me consider this is a 2 this is 14 this is 22 29 30 and negative also available let me consider this is a 0 and some of the extensions we will have minus 1 value so this is the values available i just noticed 172 range will be coming for that the variance of low so it will come minus 172 it's too long fair and high will be 202 this is low variance this is a high variance let me plot it so almost all the data will come but the accuracy being we will not be assured there is no data beyond that seven but variance is giving 172 low variance and high variance 202 so in this case we will not be assured the variance will not be very helpful that's the reason we just using for standard deviation in real time we will not be getting any data with close ranges without negative also so in real time we will be getting all the data with different manner so that the place we just are going to apply with standard deviation in the same example now i'm going to compare with standard deviation then you will get some clarity There is a fourth example, everything has the same value, then you don't have a variance and uh, standard deviation. Just for the reference purpose, I just take it out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out this standard deviation. So square root of this value will come to this one. Okay, so one standard deviation is 13.69 plus 15 as a x bar value from the range this to 13.69 minus 15 oh sorry value will come x bar always will come to the first point so 15 minus 13.69 15 plus 13.69 you can notice here 1.31 i think 28.69 so this is the difference now i'm going to plot it for the one standard deviation in bell diagram in bell diagram always the curve will be in center for mean value this is x equal to 15 now i supposed to find out 1.31 we can consider here and 28.69 okay this two will come to one sigma 1.31 28.69 i just look at everything and showing 28.39 and 1.31 okay in this data point we just declared 68 percent of data is available so 
so in variance we just know how the data will be spread out but in standard deviation how much data will come under to one sigma second to sigma like that we just validate so based on the 68 percent of data will come to these ranges which is going to apply this in our range of data points so 1.31 it's a greater than 1.31 it comes under that 28 it, this also will come 29 no no 22 and 15 almost out of seven elements four elements come to 68 percent of this one sigma values and two sigma if suppose you are going to apply it two sigma 15 minus two into 13.69 15 plus 2 into 13.69 26 15 26 15 minus 26 minus 9 something minus 9.69 something 26 15 31 so 2 sigma this value from here to here this is a minus 9 and this is plus 31 so these are will come to two sigma ranges so most of the data will come to this ranges only yeah almost this is also will come this is also will come 31 right yeah 31 only so all the data points will come under two two sigma so already one sigma covered rest of the data a few of the data will not cover that also will be covered in two sigma so 95 percent data we can assure in two sigma ranges like that we can identify how much the data will be spread out and watch what ranges the data will be stored like that information we can capture via standard deviation that is the mostly we are using for validation purpose for the measures of dispersion in statistics now we are clear when to use standard deviation when to use variance so mostly we are using for standard deviation also in variance we are using for one important thing okay i missed that in overfitting underfitting concept the variance mostly will be held so low bias uh, plus high variance there it will come for overfitting high bias plus low variance there it will come to underfitting this concept you will let us know while you are learn about machine learning concept so this places mostly various only playing but for the data validation data cleaning process you will be using for standard deviation only this is the major difference between these two hope you are clear right in next video we are going to compare it in different statistics model thank you